Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, <laughs> so Senate File 496 uh, basically says that an employer cannot require a low-wage employer to enter into a non-compete agreement and that any non-compete agreements entered into between the employers and low-wage employees after the effective date of the bill is void and unenforceable. Um, I think this is important. It's going to help address our workforce shortage right now, and um, I'm happy to take any questions on the bill. Are there any comments from the committee? Representative McConkie. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, yes, I served on the subcommittee in this bill. I think it needs to go a little bit farther, you know, just a double minimum wage, a low wage employees at $14.50 an hour. They're the only ones protected under non compete uh, clauses. But uh, I urge everybody to support this to start. Urge caucus to support this. Thank you. Yeah, are there any other comments from the committee today? Seeing none, the chair recognizes Representative Westridge for closing remarks on Senate File 496. I'd just like to thank Representative McConkie and Nordman for serving on the committee, and I move the bill. Okay, you've all heard the motion. All those in favor will vote with aye. Opposed will vote no. Clerk, please take the roll. Representative Lundgren. Representative Buzlo. Representative Judge. Representative Andrews. Representative Best. Representative uh, Cisneros, Representative Dio, Representative Fisher, Representative Graber, Representative Hall, Representative Hansen, Representative Jacobson, Aye. Representative Jacoby, Representative Kressig, Representative Losey, Aye. Representative McConkie, Representative Meyer, Representative Mitchell, Representative Moore, Representative Nielsen, Representative Nordman, Representative Oldson, Representative Westridge. Aye. 22 ayes, zero noes, one absent. We will move House, uh, Senate File 496 to the House floor. The chair.